guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I hope you're doing well today. We have a new planner to explore together. It is the My Plans Planner. It can be found on Amazon. It is $18 and they have a weekly and a daily edition and I have the hardbound weekly edition to show you today. Okay, it comes in this really nice hard box and you could definitely keep this to keep cards in or keepsakes. So it's a nice little box. It's card size, so it'd be perfect to keep for that. Plus, I love trees, so I love their choice of their emblem there. Okay, my plans weekly planner. Like I said, it comes in a daily version also, but I only have the weekly to show you. They do also have a soft cover, and I have the hard cover, as noted here. So make sure if you are looking at it on Amazon, you pick the right cover choice, and you pick the right either weekly or daily planner. Okay, so we're just going to take this little label off right here. Okay, it is a really soft cover. It feels, you know, like some kind of leatherette but it's very soft and nice. It's a nice cover and you have nothing on the back there. You have a nice band which fits really well and matches the ribbon colors that they have chosen to go with their gray hard bound. This planner is um, a little teeny bit over eight inches and a little teeny over five and a half, so about five and a half by eight inches. Okay, you can tuck the ribbon right inside here, not the ribbon, the band, when you're not using it. Their end pages are this yellow, and you have a nice accordion pocket on the back there. One of the things they brag about, about their book, is how flexible it is. And it truly is. You can bend it all the way backwards and not break it. So that's one of the things they talk about and it really lays open flat nicely and it is very flexible. Right here on the end pages you have a nameplate box for in case you lose your planner. You have like a title page and then you jump right in to your year at a glance which you have 2018 and 2019. I have not mentioned I don't think this is a undated planner. Undated. So it's very flexible. You can start it whenever you want, take weeks off whenever you want. I've talked all about the advantages of undated planners before when I used my passion planner undated. So I'm a big fan of having that option. All right, now here is something to note. Their year at a glance calendars show me that they have a Monday start even on your monthly calendar. And that's not the norm in the US right now for your monthly spread. So I wanted to show you that. They have a monthly start. And then they have very light shading on the weekends for Saturday and Sunday there together. Then you have holidays in the US noted here for 2018 and 2019. Since it's undated, I really think that's a nice touch that they added those in for you because if not, you'd have to be looking them up on your phone, some of them, since it's undated and you're gonna have to fill those in yourself. My mind map, my vision board. So they give you a mind map and a vision board, just completely blank pages, which there's no guidance. So you can do whatever fits your lifestyle to fill in these pages right here. Then you go right into your first monthly spread. Okay, you have a place to write your month and year right up here. You have a place to write your goals for the month, one, two, and three. And then they do have a Monday start to match their monthly calendar, and you have it labeled week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So even though it's undated, they are numbering your weeks for you. So something to point out with that, if it bothers you, is that that is not going to match. You know, let's say you start this mid-year in March, and we're already, you know, on week 10 of the year, technically, you know, if you're going by the calendar year, well, if you start right here, they're just going by what week you started your planner on. 
So that's something that could throw me off personally. I just wanted to note that. You have your monthly spread. You have a note section right here shaded in gray. So all the shading is very, very light gray. And I should mention that this book is very lightweight. It's really lightweight, feels very portable. The paper is ivory colored. It is 100 uh, gram paperweight. Um, they have 220 pages in this book, so that's 110 pages. So 220 if you're counting front and back, so 110 pages in the book. Okay, all your monthly spreads are like the Passion Planner undated, except there's no monthly questions in between. So it just goes, all your months are right up front, right here. It's a very simple setup, okay? So you have all 12 months up front here, and then you go into your weekly spreads. And weekly planners have to do that if they are undated because they can't put a month and then the weeks to follow it because you wouldn't know if that month has four or five weeks in it. Okay, here is the meat of the planner. Here is their weekly spread. Up here it says really tiny major goals I'm focusing on this week. And you just have a header section here that's blank. So you can use that header section for the goals you're focusing on that week, just that side, or you can use both sides. You could use the other size header section for something else you need to keep track of. So that's open for you to decide. You have three focus points, and they say focus points today. They label that on every day. You have Monday through Friday having a full page vertical spread and a timed spread, okay? And it goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m after your three focus tasks. And then you have Saturday and Sunday with smaller, but not quite halved. So they give Saturday a bigger section and Sunday a smaller section. I can see this making a really good work planner or if you don't need much planning space on the weekend. I personally need my weekends to be as big as my weekdays, but if you don't need that much space or if you just wanna use this as a work only planner, I can see that working well. And then if you were using it for work only, you could use this section just for extra notes. Okay, so your focus points today could be tied to your goals that you're working on that week. They could be tied to work tasks you have to be, get done. They could be your top three that must get done that day. So there's a lot of options there. Your timeline, of course, you can use for timed appointments, but you don't have to. You could just use it as a running list for the day. You have rounded corners, which I really like. I like that touch to this book. Let me show you the pen test. I did all my major pens, Pilot G2, Papermate Flares, even in a color, Sadler Fineliner, Pilot Precise, um, Pentel Energels, and I tried a mild liner, even in it, which is a mild highlighter. So here is all my pen tests, and here's how it looks on the back. You do have ghosting. You can see a little bit through there. It's not terrible. And for the price of this planner being only $18, I think that the paper is a good quality for that price. I think it matches the price point. It certainly feels thicker than almost all of the Target planner papers that I have felt. So it's better quality than those. All right. Then you have all your weekly spreads. You have two ribbon markers. They are the silk-like ribbons. You have two ribbon markers, which is kind of a must in a book like this, in my opinion. So I'm glad they put those in there. And then we have a whole bunch. This is what sets this apart to me from a lot of other planners. A ton of dot grid note pages at the end. So many planners, you have to carry a separate notebook or something separate for all your notes. This planner, the majority of all these pages are all dot grid. I do not know exactly how many are in there. I was looking on their stuff to try to see and I did not see note pages denoted on this packaging material right here, but it's a lot. It's a good amount. 
Then at the very end of all those note pages, you have important passwords. If you want to keep track of that in here, you have important contacts, two pages. If you want to keep track of that in here. And then you have a special dates, 12 month layout. It doesn't quite open. It's a little bit glued there. So, but still all your months are showing. It is um, just the 12 months of the year for if you want to note any special things in here, use that for planning however you want to. I use mine and my planners for major bills that are due that only come like every quarter or twice a year. Those bills that are not paid every month. But many people use them for just a huge range of things. So it's a pretty simple planner. It's a really good price if you're just getting started and planning for an undated planner to be able to just pick it up off Amazon for $18, get started with planning, and being undated means you don't have to feel like there's any waste if you stop in this planner and then you come back to it. Or if you want to use double weeks, like I've mentioned before, um, in undated planners, you could use one week for you know work. And then the very following week, you date exactly the same, and that can be for home. Or you use one week for your normal planning, and the next week you date exactly the same, and that can be like for your food and fitness tracking. So undated planners, weekly ones especially, I feel like, you can use for so many um, versatile purposes like that. You can be creative with it. All right, guys. That is my review of the My Plans Planner. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon if you want to check it out. They also have a daily planner if you think that might interest you to check out. Happy planning. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.